Good evening. At the top of the hour, here's our news roundup for April 29th, 2013, the 100th day of the Romney administration. In our top story, President Romney marked today's milestone by signing into law his major tax cut bill, which sharply lowers rates on corporations and the wealthy, while millions of retirees, students, and veterans could face a tax increase. In world news, China reported stronger than expected growth in manufacturing, which both Chinese officials and independent analysts attributed to recent changes in U.S. tax law, incentivizing American and multinational firms to relocate operations overseas. Back in Washington, the Supreme Court decided it would soon hear arguments in a case widely seen as a vehicle for reversing Roe v. Wade, which legal experts say is all but certain in the wake of President Romney's first nominee joining the High Court. And on Capitol Hill, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he's secured the votes to pass the Republican-sponsored bill that turns Medicare into a voucher system. Senators Murdoch and Aiken said they would provide the decisive votes after the bill was amended to include new restrictions on access to emergency contraception. Reporting from Arizona, Rachel Chu talks to a family that three months after the repeal of Obamacare, is feeling the impact as their insurance company denies coverage for their daughter's pre-existing heart condition. And in a special two-part story, we'll hear from Betty Brindley in Chicago about what's next for former President Barack Obama as he gives the new administration the customary space to implement its starkly different agenda. And from Des Moines, E.J. Moss looks back on the surprisingly low turnout in last year's election and meets one Obama supporter who wishes she had done more.